How to solve legal question 796 easy a uh, rotate string and uh, they basically give you two string one is s and a b c d e and the other string is the go c d e a b and if and only if s can become go after some sort of number of shifts on s a shift on s continue uh, consists of moving the most left most character of s to the rightmost position for example you can move um you can move uh a b c d e and you can move the a to the most the right and that's considered the as the shift and uh, if you are able to do this and uh, it will return true in this case so um for the goal and if you look at the example here a b c d e and the goal is c d e a b so then you rotate another left to the b and then you will get c d e a b so in this case you want to return true and the, the second example is that still a b c d e for the s and the, your goal is to get to a b c e d um so because you can only shift the most left character to the right so no matter how you shift it you will not be able to shift it to ed because these two are only shifting the last two characters so you want to return false in this case and you can see that here are some constraints here and here are the company asked this question in the last six months and the reason why this is an easy question is that you don't want to think about it too complicated. So you only need to return true or false. If it's true for between the S string and the Go string, one thing is that their length has to be the, exactly the same, right? So the Go is C, D, E, A, B, and it has to be exactly the same. And the other thing is that you basically searching one string inside of the other string. And if you really wanted to do it and you don't need to do any rotating or shifting, basically a easy way to look at this is that if you have two string of A, B, C, D, E and A, B, C, D, E. And if you have if you have two S here, right, you don't have to rotate anything. Is um is the goal should be inside of the the two S string? Yes, it absolutely is if you want to return true, because if you look at this, is go inside of a two double S string? Yes, that's why in this case, you're going to have to return true. And in any other case, if it's not included in the double two S string, then you want to return false in this case. And it's absolutely true in this case. And the code is really, really straightforward. And let me show you how to do this in code. So basically, you only need to guarantee two things. And one thing is that you want to make sure the length of the S string is equals to the length of the gold string here, right? The other thing that you want to make sure is go is inside of the double S string. So basically go in S plus S, basically something like this. If this returns true, oh, it's lowercase s. If this returns true, and both of them are true and they should return true. Both of them are false uh, or either one of them are false and you will return false in this case. And let's run this code. Yep. So that's it. If you think this is helpful, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you soon with more legal questions. Bye-bye.